Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the packet tracer activity exploring internetworking devices. Here we can see what we are going to do throughout this packet tracer activity. Identify physical characteristics of internetworking devices. Select correct modules for connectivity. Then connect devices. Coming to the part 1, identify physical characteristics of internet working devices. Step 1, identify the management ports of a Cisco router. Click the East router, the physical tab should be active. Then zoom in and expand the window to see the entire router, uh, which management ports are available. We will verify that. Uh, coming to the router East, here we can see that. We will go to physical tab and here we can see zoom in option. Okay, we will zoom in and we will see different ports. Here we can see console. Also here we can see the aux port. Coming to the step 2. Identify the LAN and WAN interfaces of a Cisco router. Uh, which LAN and WAN interfaces are available on the East router and how many are there? Okay, we will verify uh, physically uh, in this router East. Here we can see physical, we will zoom in and uh, here we can see the ports. Here we can see two uh, WAN interfaces. Also here we can see uh, two uh, gigabit Ethernet ports. I think it's gigabit Ethernet port because it's not clear but uh, still we can see GE01 and GE00 uh, something. Okay, right. So we will verify uh, using command. Now click the CLI tab and enter the following commands. Uh, show IP interface brief. So the output verifies the correct number of interfaces and their designation. The VLAN 1 interface is a virtual interface that only exists in software. How many physical interfaces are listed? Okay, we will go to CLI tab on the server east. Enable. Here we are going to give the command show IP interface brief. And here we can see uh, the number of interfaces uh, in this uh, router east. Here we can see gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1. And here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. So here in this router we got total 4 interfaces. Now enter the following commands. Show interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Uh, what is the default bandwidth of this interface? Coming to CLI of East. Show interfaces gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And here we can see the bandwidth of this interface. BW. Uh, 10 lakh kilobit Next we have to give show interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 then what is the default bandwidth of this interface? Coming to CLI Here instead of a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 we are going to give serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will verify the bandwidth of this interface. Uh, here we can see the bandwidth. It's uh, 1544 uh, kilobit. Here is a note. Bandwidth on a serial interfaces is used by routing processes to determine the best path to a destination. It does not indicate the actual bandwidth of the interface. Actual bandwidth is negotiated with a service provider. Right. So coming to step 3, identify module expansion slots on switches. How many expansion slots are available to add additional modules to the East Ruler? 
okay again we will move to a physical tab and uh, we will zoom in and here we can see a uh, one expansion uh, slot uh, in this router next is uh, click switch 2 or switch 3 how many expansion slots are available okay uh, first of all we will go to switch 2 here is that physical and here we can see expansion slots 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here we can see total 5 expansion slots even we will go to this uh, switch 3 also coming to a uh, switch 3 physical tab and here also we can see 1 2 3 4 5 expansion slots now it's time to move to part 2 select correct modules for connectivity step 1 determine which modules provide the required connectivity click east and then click the physical tab on the left beneath the modules level you see the available options to expand the capabilities of the rotor click each module a picture and a description displays at the bottom familiarize yourself with these options coming to the rotor east This is a physical tab here we can see uh, modules uh, different modules here we can see the first one hwic uh, hyphen 1ge hyphen sfp you will click on this and here we can see the description and its image here so uh, it's a single white hwic with a one small form factor pluggable slot coming to the second module HWIC-2T is a Cisco 2-port serial high-speed WAN interface card. Next one is HWIC-4ESW. Here we can see the image. Uh, it provides four switching ports. Here we can see the next one HWIC-8A uh, provides up to eight asynchronous EIA-232 connections to console ports also we can see WIC cover uh, it's a cover uh, plate uh, this cover plate provides protection uh, for the internal electronic components okay and the last one GLC hyphen LH hyphen SMD uh, the thousand base LX bar LH SFB operates in gigabit Ethernet ports of Cisco industrial Ethernet and smart grid switches and rotors okay these are all different modules uh, uh, but here we, we have seen in this uh, router east next is you need to connect pcs 1 2 and 3 to the east router but you do not have the necessary funds to purchase a new switch uh, which module can you use to connect the three pcs to the east router here we have to connect these PCs, so PC1, PC2 and PC3 uh, to this uh, router east. So here uh, we can use uh, uh, this module that is HWIC-4ESW uh, so that it provides uh, four switching ports. How many hosts can you connect to the router using this module? Yes, in this picture itself we can see uh, we can connect uh, four uh, PCs and uh, here in, th in this description uh, uh, the given uh, it provides uh, you four switching ports. Now click switch to which module can you insert to provide a gigabit optical connection to switch 3. Okay, so we will close this east and coming to uh, switch 2 to here is that and here we can see the different modules oh it's so uh, here we can see single uh, Ethernet port okay this is also a uh, fast Ethernet interface this is also gigabit Ethernet interface and here we can see okay the module provides a one fast Ethernet interface uh, for use with the fiber media it's fiber but we can see the uh, speed uh, uh, it's a uh, fast Ethernet so we will go to the next one here we can see that uh, the single port Cisco gigabit Ethernet network module okay we can uh, use this uh, uh, optical uh, connectivity 
now we will come to step 2 add the correct modules and power up devices uh, click east and attempt to insert the appropriate module uh, from uh, step 1a okay we will come back to east and here we are going to select this module then we will uh, drag from here and we will add it to this uh, empty slot and here we can see we received a, a error message cannot add a module when the power is on okay we can see uh, now this rotor east uh, is on so we should uh, switch off this uh, rotor east and we have to add this module the cannot add a module when the power is on uh, message should display interfaces for this rotor model are not hot swappable so the device must be turned off click the power switch located to the right of the Cisco logo to turn off east insert the appropriate module from uh, step 1a when done click the power switch to power up east coming to our east modules and here we can see our Cisco uh, logo uh, here we can see our uh, switch we will uh, put it off okay now we will add this module to this empty slot yes it's connected now uh, we will uh, put it on right they given a note if you insert the wrong module and need to uh, remove it drag the module down to uh, its picture uh, in the bottom right corner and release the mouse button okay uh, so even we can uh, remove it from this slot so we have to put it off uh, then we have to uh, drag from here to this picture so here we can see it's removed anyways we require this module so we will keep it here in this empty slot then we will put it on next is using the same procedure insert the appropriate modules from step 1b in the empty slot farthest to the right in both switch 2 and switch 3 we can do that so first of all we will come to switch 2 then here we can see the switch we will put it off then here we will use uh, this uh, module we will drag it then we will power it on coming to switch 3 we will put it off and here we will select this uh, uh, module fiber uh, gigabit ethernet then we will drag and we will uh, put in this uh, empty slot okay device is on now Next is use the show IP interface brief command to identify the slot in which the module was placed. Into which slot was it ins inserted? Okay, we will verify that. Coming to our roller east, CLI, here we are going to give the show command. For that, we, will, we have to go to uh, privileged exit mode. Now show IP interface brief. And here we can see uh, those uh, four ports first third zero slash one slash zero zero slash one slash one zero slash one slash two and zero slash one slash three now we will go to the switch switch to cli enable show ip interface brief And here we can see a gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Okay. Here we can see the slot is 5. Same thing we can uh, see uh, in the switch 3. Enable show IP interface brief. And here we can see gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Next is uh, click the West Ruler. The physical tab should be active. Install the appropriate module that will be add a serial interface to the enhanced high speed one interface card uh, slot on the right. You can cover any unused slots to prevent dust from entering the ruler. It's optional. Okay. Coming to our ruler West. 
physical and here we can see all the modules and uh, here we can see uh, the HWIC 2T is a Cisco 2 port serial high speed WAN interface. So we will add this interface uh, to this router. We will put it off and we will add it to this uh, slot. Then we will put it on. Also, we will uh, use this uh, empty cover. Oh, we have to power it off. Okay. Next is to uh, use the appropriate command to verify that the new serial interfaces are installed. So coming to CLI, enable show IP interface brief and here we can see those uh, serial interfaces. Serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0 also serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Now we will come to part 3 connect devices. So this may be the first activity you have done where you are required to connect devices. Although you may not know the purpose of the different cable types. Use the table below and follow these guidelines to successfully connect all the devices. Here we can see our table. Uh, so as per this table we have to connect all these devices. So before that we will uh, go through this content. Uh, select the appropriate cable type click the first device and select the specified interface then click the second device and select the specified interface if you correctly connect it to uh, devices you will see your uh, score increase okay here we can see now it's uh, zero out of 52 example uh, to connect east to switch one select the copper straight through cable type click east and choose a gigabit ethernet zero slash zero then click switch one and choose a gigabit ethernet zero slash one uh, your uh, score should now be four out of 52 we will verify that uh, we will uh, select a copper straight through here we can see that a copper straight through now we will click uh, this router east and uh, here we are going to connect to a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 then coming to switch 1 here is that here we are going to connect to a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 now here we can see the completion uh, it's a 4 out of 52 it's working here they given a note for the purposes of this activity link lights are disabled here we can see uh, those lights are uh, not coming so the devices are not configured with any ip addressing so you are unable to test connectivity now uh, we will uh, come to the connection the next one is uh, east gigabit ethernet zero slash one we have to use a copper straight through cable okay here is that copper straight through coming to east uh, gigabit ethernet zero slash one okay uh, now we have to go to uh, switch 4 uh, oh, here is that and we have to connect to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 here we can see completion status it's 8 8 out of 52 next is east uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 0 using copper straight through east fast ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 0 to pc1 Okay, next is uh, FA 0 slash 1 slash 1 to PC 2. Next one is uh, FA 0 slash 1 slash 2 to PC 3. Oh, here we can see the completion status. It's now uh, 20 out of 52. Now uh, from a switch 1, uh, FA0 slash 1, we have to use the copper straight through. FA0 slash 1, we have to connect to PC4. Then from a switch 1, FA0 slash 2 to this PC5. Then from switch 1, FA0 slash 3 to this PC6. 
Okay, next is uh, switch 4 uh, to this uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 using copper crossover we have to connect to uh, switch 3 uh, to this port uh, gigabit ethernet 0 uh, no it's not 0 it's a 3 slash 1 okay we will do that here we have to select copper crossover coming to switch 4 uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 to this uh, switch 3 uh, gigabit ethernet 3 slash 1 Next one is a switch 3 uh, to the port a gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Uh, we have to use fiber. Then uh, to the switch 2 uh, to the port a gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Okay, so here we have to select a fiber coming to a switch 3. Here we have to connect to a gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1 to this a switch 2 a gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Next is from switch 2 uh, to the port fast ethernet 0 slash 1 using copper straight through. Uh, we have to connect to PC 7. Okay, so here is our switch 2. Here we have to connect to FA 0 slash 1 to PC 7. Then from switch 2 to PC 8 and PC 9. Uh, from this port uh, FA uh, 1 slash 1 and FA 2 slash 1 okay we can press control and we will select this uh, copper straight through so that we can uh, have multiple uh, connections we'll go to 1 slash 1 to PC 8 then uh, 2 slash 1 to PC 9 Oh, here we can see our completion status. It's a 50 out of 52. So we got one more connection here from East using serial DCE. Here is that serial DCE. So from East, we have to connect to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, to the West interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. See here our completion status. It's 52 out of 52. That's all, yes. So in this uh, packet racer activity, we have seen, uh, we explored uh, intro networking devices. Uh, we have seen how to add uh, modules to uh, the devices. Uh, also, we connected the devices. Dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also, consider subscribing. That will be a great support for our channel. So we will meet again with the next video.